Hello, creatures of the internet. I'm Jonathan Young, and recently I made a video where I complained about some of the shortcomings of the two most popular pitch correction tools in the music industry, Autotune and Melodyne. If you're not a music producer, Autotune and Melodyne are both third-party software plugins, or VSTs, that you need to use with your digital audio workstation music production software. If that sounds complicated, think of it like DLC or a loot box item in a video game. And I discovered that my digital audio workstation already comes with pitch correction tools that are competitive and comparable to Melodyne and Autotune. My digital audio workstation Logic Pro costs $200 and comes with all of these tools, while Melodyne and Autotune both cost $500 or more each to get anything close to the full version. This would be like if the DLC for the video game cost more than the video game itself. Uh, so I'm not here to insult anyone who uses Melodyne or Autotune. Of course, I use Autotune and Melodyne myself. They're both very, very powerful tools. However, I stand by my original takes in that video where I explained that if you're a, a DIY producer, it's probably better for you to investigate some of the cheaper competitive tools that you can use as a pitch correction solution instead of buying the $500 pitch correction DLC. Um, however, the plot has thickened. And a very kind user pointed out that the biggest, most time-consuming shortcoming that I complained about for most of my original video can be avoided. If I had a five minute long song with a vocal track that needed to be pitch corrected in autotune, I would have to actually sit and let the song play for five minutes while autotune scans that audio file. Now, LA Winter here pointed out that I was wrong about that, and I thought that this warranted posting another video about this topic because this is an incredibly valuable tip if you're a DIY music producer, especially if you already own Melodyne or Autotune. Uh, instead of sitting here and listening through the whole audio track to let Melodyne or Autotune scan, uh, this is me singing Happy Birthday, by the way. Happy Birthday! Uh, instead of listening through that entire excruciating minute of me singing happy birthday before I can begin pitch correcting, you can actually add a new instance of Melodyne, tell it that you're going to begin scanning with this transfer button, but instead of listening through the whole song, you can kind of export the track in place. It's called bouncing in Logic uh, into a new track. This is kind of similar to rendering in a video editing software or exporting. Uh, and you, as you can see, it's already done. In two seconds, exported this entire audio file into a new track, and that kind of tricked Melodyne into thinking that we let it listen to the entire song. But instead of listening to it in real time, we listened to it at super computer speed while it was exporting. So then I can just delete this new track, unmute, the original audio track and begin Happy Birthday! I can begin pitch correcting immediately. This is literally going to save me uh, hundreds of hours. Um, so thank you to LA Winter for posting this tip. The power of the internet bringing us together, making us all better music producers. And of course, I have already confirmed that this trick also works in autotune. You can tell it to begin scanning the pitch, which is the comparable button in Melodyne. And then, of course, you can bounce the track in place. And it's already done. Autotune has finished scanning the entire audio track the same way that Melodyne did. And we can begin pitch correcting immediately. I can only hope that there's at least one person watching this video who either uses Melodyne or Autotune, who didn't realize how much time they could be saving with this trick, or someone who's watching this video that wants to become a musician or a music producer and isn't sure where to look. So do your research, never stop exploring the tools that you use to make your art, to do your work, and you never know what you're gonna find. I've been doing this for eight or nine years, and I'm still learning new things every day in the program that I use 
every single day for probably eight hours a day. There's so many features that I didn't even realize existed. I'm Jonathan Young. I hope you enjoyed the video and leave a comment and tell me what sort of video you would like to see me make next. I'll see you next time.